Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 34 of my FIFA 15 My Player Career on the Xbox One. And the first game up today for Everton is an away match against Liverpool. It's the Merseyside Derby, red versus blue. Who's going to come out on top? Hopefully it's the blue side. We need the three points because we have not had a great season so far. We're still in the relegation zone as we speak. And if we can get three points away at Liverpool, that would be good for us. We're in good form currently, so... Let's see, let's keep fighting on and hopefully we'll be safe come the end of the season. Everton, defending early on though, St Raheem Sterling playing it forward. Now Jordan Henson with the cross and he's open here. Sammy Kadira at Liverpool, pass it to Aspas who just plucks it wide and the score remains 0-0. As we go into the second half, been a quiet game so far actually. Not many challenges, not many shots on target and Liverpool in possession. Playing it forward. And they're going to attack on the right side with Raheem Sterling. He gets it back in field. Jordan Henson plays it to whoever that was. I don't even know. But here's Sterling again on the right side. And Jordan Henson shoots and scores and gives Liverpool a lead. We've got just over 20 minutes remaining. And Liverpool are in front. One goal to nil. Jordan Henson and Raheem Sterling linking up well there. The goalkeeper. Poor goalkeeping actually. That's Raheem's, sorry, Henderson's fourth goal of the season. And Stones has been taken down there. It's going to be a booking, I think. Stevens taken out there. Oh, it's a red card to Liverpool. Who was it? It's Mertens who's been sent off for Liverpool. I thought it was just going to be a booking. Oh, he went straight through the back of Stevens. And that's a red card. So Liverpool down to 10 men. They're still in front by a goal to nil. But this will give us a little bit of a chance. Hopefully get back into the game. And it's Lewis Murray out with the free kick. A chance here to equalise. Shot comes in. Oh, is it the is it the woodwork? And it goes out and cleared there by Liverpool. Unlucky Murray out. Could have equalised. And it, as we go into the final 10 minutes of the game, it's Everton in possession with Kai Jr. Stevens over the top. Finds his player. Pierre back here to Kai who crosses and the header is at the woodwork again. Go on. Oh no, it's going to be a free kick to Liverpool. Again, we've hit the woodwork and it's not our day. Liverpool with 10 men look like they're going to be holding on for this victory. And final five minutes of injury time to play. Everton still in possession, trying to get a last chance equaliser. Here's Kai Jr. trying to open up some space. He's got past the defenders. Gets the cross in, but that's going to go out for a corner. And this will probably be the last chance. We've got the keeper up. Everton keepers up there. Cross comes in. Header. Oh, just wide of the target. And it's Darren Gibson, the Everton captain, with that header. And that's probably going to be the last chance. And Liverpool look like they're going to get the three points here at Anfield. Short goal kick and there is the final whistle Liverpool 1 Everton 0 we needed the win but it's not the end of the world we've still got a handful of games to go we've got Crystal Palace next up we're playing at Goodison Park we've got the home support behind us and let's get back to winning ways if we can Kai Jr is in form so is Muriel up front Morales another player that's in form for Everton let's try and get a goal or two today it's going to be Everton to kick off then in the blue and white strip. I do not like the colours of the Crystal Palace kit. Those shorts are absolutely disgusting. Don't go well with the yellow. But there goes a throw-in. And another throw-in for Everton. Five minutes played. Kai Jr. plays it in more centrally to Pierre. Here's Morales. Now Muriel. Kai Kwam Jr. is in there. But Everton have won a penalty. Seven minutes gone. And it's Mariapa who's given away the penalty, taking down Muriel. Well, look at that, tugging on his shirt there, clear to see there by the referee. And Muriel goes down. So, a chance here for Everton to take the lead. Early on in this game, eight minutes gone, it's Muriel to step up. Come on, lad. And takes a shot. Oh, the goalkeeper saves it. Crystal Palace keeper, Price, keeps it out and keeps the scores at 0-0. A great save. It was going into the bottom corner. But we do have a corner ourselves. And Kakon Jr. crosses. And it's in. We've scored anyway. The penalty miss. Not so bad in the end. Because we've scored from the resulting corner. It's now Everton 1. Crystal Palace 0. 
Less than 10 minutes gone. It's Morales yet again on the score sheet. He's scored quite a few goals for Everton recently. He's one of the main men in form. And there goes Kyle Corn Jr. Going over to congratulate him. Crystal Palace defenders not looking happy after saving that goal originally from the penalty. Uh, just less than 20 minutes gone. Kyle Corn Jr. Using his pace to push forward. Is anybody going to run forward? He does. Oh, Pierre there. His shot saved. And it's going to be another corner to Everton. Good attacking play from Everton. And here comes the cross. Carcom Jr. is an open space there. And it's going to be cleared away, but not far. Only to Baines. And here's Kai Jr. playing onto the right side. Morales. Here's Kai. Trying to get some space open. And Morales header. It's a great header. It's a great goal. And that's doubled Everton's lead. 23 minutes gone. It's Everton 2, Crystal Palace 0. And now Morales is looking for a hat-trick. He's got two goals already in this game. It's a fantastic header. Wasn't expecting that one at all. And yet again, Hangeland. And the Crystal Palace defender is not looking happy. Beautiful cross and a nice header. Goalkeeper couldn't get to it. Fourth goal of the Premier League then for Kevin Morales. And we'll go into the second half. Just over 20 minutes to go. We're still in front by two goals to nil. Short free kick there for Everton. And here's Seamus Coleman. And he's giving that ball away. That was a poor ball. And he's through. Scores. It's Fletcher for Crystal Palace who pulls the goal back. 20 minutes to go. It's Everton 2, Crystal Palace 1. And Crystal Palace have got themselves back into this game. And there's Fletcher celebrating the goal. Poor pass from Seamus Coleman. Gave it straight away. And there, massive gap in the middle for Fletcher to thump in. Here's... 12th goal of the season in the Premier League for Stephen Fletcher. Uh, 15 minutes remaining. Samuel Eto'o has come off in Muriel up front. Are Crystal Palace going to get themselves an equaliser here? He's been taken down there. It's going to be a free kick. So a late free kick for Crystal Palace. Marcus Pierre with the booking. And Kai Jr. has actually been substituted. So that's going to be the end of the game for him. Hopefully we can hold on for the victory. And upcoming targets were all completed in that month. So Kaikwam's had a pretty decent run of form of late. And let's just have a quick look at the league before we go into the next game. We are six games away from the end of the season and just two points away from safety. So I'm confident that we can do this now. We've got West Ham and Hull City both on 34 points. Even Aston Villa there on 35. We're on 32. We've got six games to go. And we've got Aston Villa next door. It would be a big three points if we can beat Aston Villa today. And I think we might go above him. Depending on goal difference. I didn't notice the goal difference there. But what we want is three points. And Villa Park will be a big, big game. And it will hopefully put us towards safety. So it's going to be Everton to kick off. The sun is shining. The summer is almost here. And we're going to go for an early attack on the right side, are we? No. 15 minutes played, still Aston Villa nil, Everton nil. It's Aston Villa in possession. They're looking to take the lead. Well played there, Kai Jr. winning the ball in midfield. And here he is again. He waits for the run, he sees the run. It's Samuel Eto'o, is it? Yes, oh, just over the bar. Unlucky there. Good chance for Everton to take the lead. Less than 20 minutes gone. Kai Kwon Jr. put the through ball through. And Samuel Eto'o just puts the ball over the crossbar. And the score remains nil-nil. Goal kick to Aston Villa. Played long. So into the second half. Still goalless. And Everton looking to attack on the left side with Kai Jr. Gets past his player. No, he doesn't. That's a great challenge. And now Villa with a chance to attack. They're going on their right side. Well played again. Everton winning the ball in midfield. We need somewhere to make a run. Kai Jr. is making a run. A chance here for him to score. Great control. Shoots. Good save by the keeper. And headed away by Aston Villa. And cleared to safety. Cardinia should have scored from there. It was a great save though. And we've got a minute to go. Still Aston Villa nil. Everton nil. Aston Villa looking for a late winner maybe. Here's Muller. Westwood. Back to Muller. He's going to get the cross in. He gets the cross towards the front post. And headed away. And the goal. Sorry. The game. Finishes nil nil. Goalless. 
to draw. It's a point. We've got Crystal Palace. No, not Crystal Palace. QPR next up. Then Hull City, Arsenal, Leicester and Southampton in the remaining games. So hopefully we can do enough to stay in safety, stay in the Premier League. We are just one point away from safety and we've got a game in the hand of Hull City. So we're looking good. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!